Welcome back everyone to a brand new episode of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays. Drop a comment down below with your favorite play of this episode and don't forget to submit your own pro plays to PertainaMonster.com slash upload for a chance to be featured and win yourself some RP. Without further ado, we're going to get into our number 5 play with the Volbear that perhaps has the most fitting name for his champion, I Flip Desks. At the start, we see the enemy team pushing to take mid tower when all of a sudden Morgana lands a dark binding on the enemy AD carry and Volibear springs into action. He dives straight after her, flipping her over on contact as he pops his ultimate, dealing nice AoE damage as Janna monsoons everyone away but him and he scoops up the kill on Ash, followed by the chomp on Janna for the double. Morgana lands her Q and he anticipates the flash right after, so as it ends, he rolling thunders to flip him way back, granting him the triple. As Morgana backs off, he pursues onto Ari, bringing her low, and then the friendly Wukong jumps onto her with his ultimate as she misses her flash, but the flash from Wukong would have been death either way, but this way he grabs the quad. Staying true to his name and nature, he flips Nasus back, guaranteeing the kill with the final frenzy for the well-played pentakill on Volibear. Coming in at our number 4 spot is Van Eyes on Jarvan with a pro out play under the tower. At the beginning we see him come to gank mid lane as he EQs in but unfortunately the fed Vi also comes in as both junglers focus each other's AP carries. Jarvan uses Cataclysm to lock her in and despite her ultimate he finishes her off with red buff. As they both turn around in a very mirrored gank it's time to 1v1. They battle it out for little as he auto attacks but slowly makes his way towards the tower and then he EQs to get the safety but Vi plans to continue. We see her start to charge her Q and then all of a sudden she goes for it with a flash but he flash dodges it into a shield to slow her down as he kites her around and as she heads back he quickly reacts with a beautiful dragon strike and then a Demacian standard making the final turret hit just enough to get the shutdown kill. Scoring in at third place is Faxar and Morgana, and we start right in the heart of this battle. She drops really low, but perfectly flashes the Vi as Fiddlesticks comes in with his ultimate, and she escapes into the jungle, getting hit by Ezreal Zoltan, dropping so low. After they kill Fiddlesticks, they swap to her. She lands a dark binding into Tormented Soil on Singe, and then pieces out towards top lane. Kennen eats the cats up, but she spell shields the shuriken toss, and then Zanya's the auto attack while waiting for help. Irelia jumps on Kennen, bringing her low enough so that she can dark binding for the kill, healing off her passive and continuing to chug potions as Singe and Vi close in on her. All of a sudden, she turns with an ignite auto attack as she keeps cutting back and grabs the kill. She drops so incredibly low but turns with her W to spell vamp a little and then dark bindings to keep her alive as she runs back to the tower and grabs the triple. Great use of her passive good kiting and quick reactions earns this play the number 3 spot. Man I'm glad that's over that was so close. Oh wait, Sona comes out of nowhere, but a beautiful Dark Binding roots her and heals for plus 92, just barely keeping her alive through the crescendo for the fourth kill in this intense play. Coming in at our number 2 spot is Last 7 on Tristana in a very well played team fight. At the start we see her run and get onto the enemy Akali as she jumps onto Triss but she rocket jumps away maintaining great positioning and getting the kill on Akali. As the fight progresses her team is split in half and Zed goes after her but she rocket jumps onto him, ults him back into the brush and flashes over the box into the brush to get the double and break line of sight. She quickly gets on Caitlyn, ripping her apart as Thresh hooks her in, but she sees Zin coming for her, so she W's, swapping places with him and grabbing the quad, and then instantly rocket jumping into the brush, moving with her team to get the pentakill. Really, Leona? And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Snamma on Thresh, but this clip highlights an amazingly well played bottom lane. After they take the tower, Lee Sin flash slows Thresh, but a well played box, followed by a hail of arrows from Vars, stops her advance. Lee Sin War jumps to get the Q off, but Vars blocks it on purpose because Thresh doesn't have flash up and then he flashes away, forcing the enemy team to disengage as Thresh eats to slow him down and now we see Nautilus coming in from the jungle. He runs up with mobility boots, rapidly gaining on them and ults Lulu, but Lee Sin turns around to try and grab the double with a war jump into Q on Vars as he waits for enough energy and then as he goes in, Thresh pulls out the most clutch play to stop him and as he gets kicked away he Qs to pull him in under the tower while mid air resulting in the kill for Vars. Let's check that out one more time as Lee Sin dodges a hook and once he has enough energy he activates Resonating Strike but a perfectly timed and position E stops him in his tracks and then right after he gets kicked away but still manages to reel him in under the tower for the kill. This bonus clip of the week is brought to you by Ray Call. Communication is always vital when competing in tournaments. Winning a match requires perfect coordination. You cannot win by yourself. Raid Call. Communication for winners. We have Rasha Dosama playing a champion you don't see as much anymore, doing something you really never even see happen on this champion. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you liked this episode and don't forget to drop a comment down below letting me know which was your favorite clip. Take care everyone and have a wonderful week.